Rocky doesn't lose that. I hate those crispies. You don't like yours? Uh-uh. I love mine. You saw the ones that are two sizes too small? For no. Oh, they fit. No. No. We, you admitted that you don't like them because they're too small. But they stretched out. Like, not that much. The other thing, Logan, that's weird is like, you can be here mm -hmm. and you're going to bump the deer up way over there. Sure. All of these things that Zach is pointing out as what he loves about this place are actually like, specifically the things that a lot of people would say that they hate about this place. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Super I'm... thick. You bump deer on the opposite <laughs> ridge. Super steep. Very <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> As soon as you get to the top, you think, wow, I've never even seen anything like oh, that. Oh, no, as soon as right you get there, to the top, you're like, wait, that wasn't the top. <laughs> right, that's actually the middle of the hill. Oh, I'm not even close to the top. We'll come up and then down. Yeah, the you'll have right. to go down into it a little bit more. But I think if you get kind of in the inside of that bowl, you'll be okay. We're going to drive around and go in from that other side. Yeah, the big change is you guys are going to specifically be drivers for point, and then it's going to flip. Because in the next 10 minutes, you guys not only have to bust through that stuff, and we're gonna be on the north side, we'll be standing on the back side of our hill, ready for you guys to get to your spot, and then we're gonna come over the top. So you're gonna come in here, and you're gonna get up on this top. Ben's gonna be coming up this. When Ben's coming up this, you guys are gonna try to catch anything that may come across this saddle, but also bump stuff back to him, if that makes sense. Because there might be deer up here, there might be deer here, there might be deer in this bowl. You guys last year went up that way. We might as well just see if that works. Yeah, as you kind of did last year on Ash. Wintergreen with barbecue sounds a little bit confusing. Wintergreen? Barber Green. <laughs> All right, we're starting on the first drive of the day. We got wonderful conditions again today <laughs> for muzzle letters, especially. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got half the group going in this this bottom, and then the other half of the group coming up and over. We're doing a drive we did last year, and it worked pretty well. But we kind of refined some things, and we're gonna come in from different angles and end up in the same valley, and hopefully kick deer around in there, and obviously shoot a buck. We saw some big bucks in here last year, so hopefully they're a year older. <laughs> See what you can do. See the second hill. Oh, you mean Mount Everest up there? Kilimanjaro. <laughs> All right, so me and Ted are working our way up this drainage on the back side of this hillside where the main drive is. So about 10 minutes before the drive starts, we're going to stage up in the saddle. As the start time comes, we'll just crest over that saddle. We'll drop down into that bowl a little bit. We might be able to catch one if they bump it on the way in. We'll just have to see what happens. It's going to be a pretty tight drive. So the ones in there will be pretty fun. Yeah, we nicknamed this one the pinball drive last year. So just because if we do bump one, there's enough people that will just bounce off of everybody, hopefully. Yeah. We can shoot at them eight different times. <laughs> hopefully it doesn't take that many. Hopefully it takes one. <laughs> group coming from the south is going to do that about 10 minutes before us so that ideally they're in place if we kick anything up and over this hill we're not going to hear them today no there it is yep looked like a buck going back up let's get up the hill a little bit I 
he was running away from us. I thought we jumped him. He was running straight towards us. That was a big one. Can you still see Hayden? Yeah, they're just right here. Yeah, you can see them up. They're just a little above where I last saw that deer. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like a doe on this tiny little screen, but yeah, it's a doe. It's a big old doe. That's a buck. Yeah. He's running up the. Here, get your gun ready. He's running up that trail. He's up and over at this point. Didn't seem like I hit him, did it? No, he didn't. It's a far shot. <laughs> <laughs> he went into the drive. Went right into the drive. Yeah. Oh, there's another deer above him, so that's why I was confused. Ah, it's it's in my bad, dude. I just, I feel like I was on him, but. There's, there's Hayden over here. Okay. I'm shaking a good bit on this. Did you have a shot? It's just, I never felt great about any of it. Somebody might have got a shot. Just make sure you're, you're reloaded and then we'll get up there and probably get eyes on him again. He wasn't going too fast. No, I don't think he really knew what the world. No, yeah. He never saw us though. Even when, when you didn't. Yeah. No. Trigger. When my safety was on. So I didn't have the camera. Yeah, I figured I didn't get the head time to turn the GoPro on. But this has got the hammer. Yeah, it's got a safety on it. I cocked the hammer. I didn't think about the safety. I'm guessing they missed. Yeah, we're just trying to get eyes on him. He probably just cut and took that trail straight out. Yep. Let's keep going. He came over right here. Yeah. I almost just think we just chill right here. Yeah, I agree. Zach and that might not even have been up the hill. It didn't look super smooth. Even after I moved. Or he could be two inches over. True. It looked like a pretty nice deer, but Dude. that doesn't mean much coming from me. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching that the one doe got up and moved. And I was watching another doe and you're like, that's a buck. And I'm like, if it's a buck, it's tiny. And you're like, no, it's definitely a buck. Yeah. I, I can see that. Just like, yeah, I can see the antlers <laughs> with, my, with my bare eyes. Pretty easy to see. He was moving fast and then he came at that one stop. Have a great rest. Well, it was fun either way. Definitely fun. Definitely pretty cool. Wonder where in the world he went. In 10 minutes, Keith and John are coming over that point right there. And Doug's coming over that one. Bucks up on his feet at least. Yeah. He's definitely around too. I don't know why I want to lay up here though. <laughs> somewhat quietly down that hill.
Pinballs. We gotta double check it, but I don't think I can. You don't act like it, Biddy. No. I bet that buck was bedded right where Hunter and I. Yep. Same spot. Yep. Yeah. Same spot. I think it was an eight or a ten. Didn't look that close. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I didn't look. I was too busy trying to put the. As soon as I saw him, luckily, I'm shooting. Mm -hmm. Gosh dang it. I wasn't too like upset in the moment when it happened, but the more time goes on, the more angry I'm getting. Me as well. I was thinking that as I was we were walking up the hill, like I got out the camera ready to get, get out of this bag and I had it on and <laughs> I literally just panicked really. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. At least you didn't entirely forget that your muzzle loader has a safety on it. <laughs> How close was he when you should pull the trigger? Seven yards, probably. I mean it was thick, but like it wasn't too thick where I don't think it could have gotten no, that close. Stop. Tough shot. So I shot. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get 
get a good look at him. Oh, he's, oh yeah. He's, he's, he's pretty large. He's a yeah. <laughs> Did you get a pretty good look at him? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. He's no footage. Though. He's probably so quick. We're like going up the hill and I got the camera and I got this plastic bag on it. I just slip and I look up and I just see him right over Hayden's shoulder at like 15 yards coming right at us. And I'm just like... And by the time I yank it off, like better than that. He's like, yeah, you're going to want to get your gun ready. And I look down and the thing's just like... So, who was it? I don't know, I figured you guys might know better. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. No. Oh, yeah, and we were following the best tracks ah, up that point the whole way. So, like, he took that way in and then was running back out the way he came in that morning. You never had to. I tried. Safety was on. <laughs> I was too embarrassed to even tell Cole at first. He's like, did you have a shot? And I was like... I mean, it was tough. <laughs> and then, and then, like five minutes later, I was like, Cole, I gotta tell you something. I tried to shoot the thing. Cool, I don't know why. And I then I had to tell him, yeah, I didn't get a single thing. I, <laughs> I only heard one shot. Yeah, but yeah, I, only, I only heard one. Yeah, yeah. We shot at like 10 40. So I heard Doug shot then. We heard, we didn't hear Ben. Ben, you need one here? Yeah. Big one? Really? We sat down for literally 30 seconds. We were like, it was the most perfect timing I've ever seen on the drive. Hey, he didn't. Safety was on? Yeah. Nobody got the deer. We're back tracking for the second time where dad shot. And they're going and doing the same thing where Ben shot. But it's always worth going back and double checking, and getting other eyes on it. The buck that Ben shot at didn't even flinch. This buck doesn't look like he flinches. So we just always double check. We're going to follow tracks up, go back to the truck, meet up with everybody, and then set something else up. But we learned from what we did last year, and we bumped them right off that on purpose. That, that was pretty cool to see. We went to the gas station last night to get some snacks, and they had these at the counter for 99 cents. A dog treat. Nice. <laughs> so I'm going to tear this label off, <laughs> see if I can get somebody with it. My plan is to you know, snap it in half and say, anybody want half of this? Toss somebody and see if they eat it. Who are you going to go for? I think Zach. <laughs> <laughs> The goal with this one is, is he, there's a buck bedded right above you, and you're gonna kind of get him on his feet, and he's just gonna be like, is this guy stupid? <laughs> and you, yeah, you're gonna be like, yeah, I am. <laughs> but he doesn't know that you're not so stupid because you got right. a bunch of sons on the other side. It's a trick. Dude, there's water here. Wherever there's water, that means there's signs of life. what looked like a smashed eye. You know, the fur looked all weird, but it was so close that even at 2.5 power, like all I saw was midsection of the deer until it was like 15 yards away. Dude, Dude there's scrapes right here that are hit today. Yeah, yeah. There were several of them up to <laughs> It's like, it always feels like there's bucks here, so how you drive them, I think is the tricky part. I just feel like I shouldn't have parked there until like right at, before start time, because we got parked there at like 2.40. And you guys weren't set up. Like, I should have stayed down the road, I think. He actually instantly shed his antlers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you heard the truck turn off, and he was just like... <laughs> <laughs> said, yeah, this eye is bothered me. I'll shed these. Zach, did you happen to see Keith getting ready this morning? I looked in there like four different times of him just getting ready by himself, and he's just sitting there smiling and giggling to himself. <laughs> God, he must have woke up and good <laughs> That's always I a good sign. I actually know I remember that point. I was, because I was laughing, and I was like, wonder if anyone's watching me. <laughs> right now. This is like where I think the best concentration of buck bedding is. The standards might also bump things in. Their move is going to be well timed with ours sliding down to their spot as we're sliding to that, starting up the yeah. line. So, we'll cover times and everything here soon. Cool.
I believe John's going right over the top. Yep. As you're going up that, that's going to be real narrow and there might be deer on it. Try to wait and let this guy get to the base of this and then go up together because I'm thinking if you get to the top and a deer bumps from him and wraps around this pole, you're going to want to be right even with him. I'm going to hit a thick edge about right in there roughly. Right there's the thick edge. I see it. <laughs> okay, I'm really, I'm really glad you do. <laughs> you guys are gonna be working right along a bunch of beds, right on that steep bank. That's our ten o'clock. That's our ten o'clock. So we can pretty much like crawl there. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Right now. I suppose it's time. Good luck, y'all. Good luck, boys. It's day three. Going into a new spot. Never done this before, but found this spot originally. Turkey hunting. Ended up bumping into a bunch of deer sign. Went back this past winter when my ACL was completely obliterated because I really wanted to check it out again and knew that after surgery I wasn't going to be able to come back. So did a big day of scouting. Probably pushed it a little bit too much, but we're back now. And there's a lot of thicket on top of this ridge. And we're going to go in here and hopefully be able to drive it down to a bottom. We got a couple guys coming in on the side hill. Got a couple guys going over the top and then we got coverage down at the bottom. This area that we're hunting generally has a lot of open timber, but this stuff that we're driving is gonna look a lot like what's right here behind me. A bunch of invasive and stuff that kind of creates a thick bedding area for them to escape into where you can't really see them in there unless you're right on top of them. So I think it could be really close quarters. And based off of the sign I've seen from bedding sign to tracks to finding a shed in there, I think there's a dang good chance that there's gonna be bucks bedded in this area. It's just a matter of if we make the right moves to kick them into the direction of other hunters. Let's hunt. I'm gonna give you five minutes to get up the trail to there. And then at 9.35, I'm gonna walk to the base of that. At 9.50, we need to be at the, there. Let's try about the crest over, right on the back side of that. Yeah, and then at 10, we go over. I already forgot the times I just told them. I couldn't do the detail planning that like Zach and Ben do. And they know the pairs too. And I'm like, dude, I know there's somebody there, but I don't know who it is. <sighs> All we gotta know is where we gotta walk up that ridge right there. Sneaking in there, I suppose. As sneaky as we can. last night so the woods are real loud this morning drive number one we got up here a little bit earlier that way when those guys are working in we can kind of cover these two poles if anything if they bump anything and then right at 10 we're gonna come crash up over the top here those guys should be set and uh hopefully we hear one go off we're two for two on shots being fired the first drive of the day so hopefully we go three for three cole and i are heading up the valley here but we're taking this low bench zach's doing the same move coming from the north and then Colin and John and uh, Tate are dropping up over the top, trying to push deer towards the standards that way. Pretty nice weather though. I can't, this might be our only day where the sun shines. It's our only day.
moment. of this bowl I turkey called and that I think the turkey call is like when it that deer took off yeah pretty much I only saw one did you see me did you even see it yeah, I saw I saw just the one I saw one deer so we were just wanting to box it in and then that's when we heard a shot so one of these guys down here shot whether it was that deer or another deer something worked the shot just went off right up here we're in the jungle <laughs> In the jungle, the shot sounded like it hit. Kind of thick in here. Decent buck, decent bucks. That was not an easy shot. <laughs> <laughs> I heard them, but I couldn't tell where they were about to come through. Which one were you aiming for? The very last one. Back one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> I should have shot earlier to turn. <laughs> Sweet. It's a shooting gallery. Well, that's three for three of shots being fired. Yeah. <laughs> Was that calling your shot? Huh? Is that Colin who shot? It sounded like it could be. Yeah. <laughs> so we moved him. There had to be deer in there. <laughs> that was so thick. That sounded like maybe Zach way up there. We're talking to the guy. Yeah, dude. That pressure's off a little bit. Yeah. We've just been hikers today. Yeah. The second shot the sounded first sounded here. like, like it, it was over here. I thought it was cold. Yeah, I think it could have been Colin. It seemed like something worked. Yeah. <laughs> I think the other one was down there. I honestly have no idea. That Whatever I had, that was freaking good. Yeah. Yeah. We all crashed <laughs> the hill at the yeah. same time. <laughs> Yeah, early was over here, and then I heard yeah, another one. Okay, and then I heard another one on the other side of the ridge. It wasn't Colin, was it? No, he was running. Oh, maybe he did shoot. Who's the first one getting cut? I just had the perfect opportunity at a nice buck. I couldn't see through the scope. He just said that everybody's killing bucks, and you haven't got one. Oh no, I don't give a. I don't give a crap about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Colin. It's all right. 
don't get to get buffed yet. <laughs> No, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you kidding? I think so. Like 40 yards, standing like for 15 seconds. There's a lot of hair, and it's long white hair. Yeah. But the hit, like the way the deer reacted, looks good. I think we're just gonna have to get up, pick our way through there a little bit, yeah. and just get some blood. All I had was just just a little opening between the trees, and I, I could see him there. And it's like I, I just hope I didn't get a bash on him too. He's digging pretty hard, you know. How far was he? Like he was How far did he see? Him? So I lost him once he gets about we another right thirty on. yards up there. Why don't we call over there? That's a good call. Check. I ain't saying he's dead. I ain't saying he's alive. Mm -hmm. My belief is we should just go get around him, and then we can get some guys. Track and all of us sitting here isn't doing any good. He's like, Yeah, you guys do a different drive. The problem is, it's like if he jumps the thing up and it gets away from him, I'd rather have people on the back side of him, is what I think. Yeah. But what do you guys think? Finish it out. Yeah, sure. finish it. That's what, yeah. I figured that's the case. Well, Brian shot that buck about 30 minutes ago, and we decided we're going to get the big group of guys up on top, kind of surround the area that we think he's in, and then allow Brian to just track him. And if he's still alive, they'll hopefully bump him to us. So. We're gonna climb up on top here, get in position. If he's in there, we should figure it yeah, out. Yeah, hopefully we get a hollow pretty soon. Well, if he hoots, it means just go the road. Yeah. If you guys can stay on tracks or ideally blood, I'll just kind of shade a certain side based off of like, you know, cover, terrain, whatever, and I'll just kind of watch, have my gun ready too, just in case he jumps up. And then if we bump him to the next fingers over, we got guys there too. That's blood. There's something on this leaf right here. Just go up here, Shane. Just stay up high. What's your thoughts on that? It doesn't smell like gut, but it looks like stomach matter. There's a decent amount of it. Yeah, it's kind of opened up right we, here. We might be able to. Yeah, you can see some right here. Something right here. Something right here. Alright. A little bit right here. We're tracking this buck that Brian shot. The guys are down there on blood. There's this flat creek bottom that runs down through here. And for the most part, the buck has just been following that. Probably gone 600 yards so far. We're not sure if the buck has hit back. Blood has never been good, but it's been consistent enough that they've got to follow it the whole way. We're playing this like he's alive until we find out that he's not. It's kind of a stressful situation. We're gonna work together until we can either confirm that the deer's still alive and is gonna make it, or we get him. I think I'll see a little bit more up there. Going up. Yep. There. There. Drop right there. There's a bed. A fair amount of blood in there. It looks like you went up the hill. Oh, I can see blood up there. I, I can't smell any guts in there. Now the question is, is the blood going to open up again or is yeah. it clotted? Another bed? Yeah. You reposition. Yeah, we basically got three beds almost in one spot. He got up and we found blood and just... I think it might just straight up be hit, like midsection, liver, gut. He could try to get a dog. He can't just wait and be like, oh, we'll give him tonight, because it's going to rain, and then you're going to not be able to find the blood. Do we have enough service to call somebody to do it right now? He's got one. You I got the tracker on the phone. Do you? I, yeah, I've used it. And like, actually just do the dog thing and then everybody else just do a drive. Yeah. And do it once we have good cell service and we can actually communicate. And now we wait. Is this someone just calls you or what? Yeah, last time it, uh, from the time I downloaded the app, 
and did all that, it was five minutes. Oh, yeah. really? It was like the one Logan shot. Okay. What are you trying to say? Long. Yeah, what are you trying to say? <laughs> seven <laughs> yeah, legit seven minutes, like broadside. Oh my god. <laughs> At like a hun hundred yards. Wow. I would have been shooting right toward you. Like, I watched you guys cross, what, not far after we heard something. I was like, oh, that must be them walking down. And he just came off the backside of that thick stuff. Gotcha. And stopped and just was staring back up, guessing at you guys. Yeah. Couldn't see you. And it probably would have been fine, but it wasn't fine enough. I you know? That, yeah. <laughs> it's a new drive. Never done it before. This past winter, I was driving around scouting, and I noticed that there was a thicket right off the road. Went up into it. And I found a shed, and it was a big shed. Pretty sweet, but Shane and Tate are going to be driving it this direction. And we got guys kind of surrounding it. You know, also update on the buck that Brian shot. We all kind of decided that it got to a point where we needed to probably back out. He bet it a few times. Figured at that point it might be safer to back out and try to call a dog tracker. We didn't know where to even try to, you know, surround the deer out at that point yeah. because he was starting to turn back where he came from. So if Brian can go back with the dog tracker, then we probably have our best odds of finding the deer. The beech leaves on the far bank right there. Keep it closer. Yeah, we supposedly are in the hot seat, but that's what they always say. Deer, deer, deer. We never got eyes on it. You found a bed. We found a bed. He had gotten up and moved like five yards or so and bedded again. And we had some other people in our group, so we were waiting to kind of regroup and figure out what we we're going to do. And then we walked down off the other side 30 yards or so and found where he had bedded on that side, which was probably 80 yards or so from the initial bed. And okay. and then it, there was there was a fair amount of blood in that one and it looked like he stood up and maybe bled a little bit and then we we couldn't find a, a track going out of there with blood i know we got weather coming i didn't know if we we're up against a tight window all right let me see let me let's let's, let's try to get her going then okay all right i'll have him call you super thank you all right see you later yep bye well, promising yeah <laughs> we're gonna get him i don't think he's hit dead center <laughs> after watching that hair fly off not say that he's not going to die from it. Got hanging out there? What? Yeah. Is it? Pretty tough to say one way or the other. I mean, the bullet, like, has to be hitting, like, right there. Yeah. That's what I think. Because you can see that ripple mm -hmm. when the flesh was, or the skin was rippling back. And there is some blood that kind of looks like liver. Mm -hmm. It looked like he was starting to bleed about like he was when he went into that bed. That's why we were hopeful we started up that hill there and it's like the bleeding didn't stop. Right, and maybe that means he clotted it up and it's not hit him hard enough to get him. Gavin? 
We're going up on here, but there's a parking place just right around the little curb right here. What's the name? That's her, it's Jen. Did you get started, huh? Hey there, Jen. Hi, <laughs> I'm Doc. That's Mitch. Yeah. Chief. Chief. Nice to meet you. Mitch. Yeah, go straight up this. That would be the easiest for sure. <laughs> Let's go. When I first seen it, I was concerned that it grazed the bottom of the belly. One of our other buddies that track on this group, he slowed that video down and you sent me. Mm -hmm. And when the buck runs off, there's something hanging out yeah. right in there. So if you got up in and, and didn't just cut him, he's dead. They were not able to find anything from that point out. I know where the track was right out of this. Pretty nice out. If we find this one, it'll be our 14th for the year if mine and hers. I like that. Yeah. Let's go. Blood was right there. Yeah, right. It was like right at that. I think someone put that stick there. No way! <laughs> that is insane. As soon as he said that, I looked down under that log and was like, wait a second. Yeah. Oh, That's awesome. Heck yeah. <laughs> 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 Ten minutes, one second. Yeah! All the crap, you know, you good turn, girl. Our, our minds were set on that way, and I was like, I don't feel good about this. She was just poking along. Mm -hmm. We found that bed, and she started this way. She tightened that strap up. Change That's that. my indication that it's... Then she started going like that. I'm like, I'm a, I am think she's Well, she got out of all of your, where everybody else is going. Because you all walked <laughs> through that track and walked out to there. That's one of your boots. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, and every bed she comes to, she stops, so and she really spends a lot of time. Okay, so everybody being in there is not just our scent, it's that we're tracking, You're tracking, we're tracking his that scent, scent away. Yeah, because that inner digital comes out of his front hook. That's crazy. Yeah, we yeah. went with our instincts where the deer went. We shouldn't have. Right. It melted around right. and went the other way. He came from over there initially. So our mind, he was circling and he was wanting to get back, get to, back to, to it. Get back to it. Home range. I'd say he was dead. Got it. Probably by three o'clock, two or three o'clock that day. He was dead. Yeah. Good girl. Sweet. Get down there, Brian. Hold that deer up. I gotta get a snapshot. Good girl, Jen. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty I'm, cool. I'm glad we did this. I was pretty skeptical, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. The reason yeah, is, Doug, well, well when, you, when the dog turned around, it started going the opposite way, and then as soon as it got off there, I was like, I watched that dog crack stuff. I'm like, she's on it. <laughs> well, when he asked, I, I didn't want to say anything yet, because sometimes yeah. she will, she'll run out of path and check, and then go real hard, right. but then she'll turn. Yeah, but she gets a little piece of lift. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. That's oh. her retreat and reward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't as far back as it thought. No, it wasn't. Yeah, well, that's the exit. That's the exit. That's exit. Yeah. I know. I, I'm from Northern Ireland. Oh, so you're so much bigger. <laughs> you're used to having a side of beef around the yeah. wood. Yeah. Yeah. On your video, I would have swore if I was like that man that it was straight in here. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, he was straight. So he was straight between two trees. I had like from here to here, and I and I leaned out and I tried to place him as close to that tree, but I know in my mind it's like I don't want to hit that tree. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Well, I feel good about that. Where it's at, better than yeah. What I did. Oh, well, God. I knew if you hit him from that tree back to that ham, we should have found yeah. him. Yeah. Ten minutes, one second. Just 80 yards <laughs> off the red. Where he, we last went, he just went that way. Oh wow. <laughs> 10 minutes and one second. Congrats. 
Thank you. <laughs> See, there's the chin. Thank you. A lot better than what we thought. That's not a lot very far, huh? I was really impressed. Thank you. I'm yeah, glad I'm yeah, thank you. That makes it worth it. Yeah, somebody impressed with the dog. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you made all our day. Well, good. I'm glad. <laughs> Good news is Brian got that buck, had a dog tracker come in, made quick work of it, so very good situation. We have been unsuccessful with weather, <laughs> so it's super wet out, rainy, so we're going to make the most of it, um, slide up in here, and basically our role is going to be get up on the back side of this ridge, crest over, be ready for other guys to be spooking stuff, or hopefully push stuff off the top of that ridge to, to the standers on the other side, so we'll see how fast this one goes, but this might be our last drive. Hopefully we can just shoot one. That'd be pretty neat. Not ideal conditions. Just do great things. I know you will. <laughs> Good luck. Move it out on. I think I left all those barrel condoms at the house. That'll help. So that's cool. Check my scope. Not even in there. I can't see anything. Good thing I left. Really bad. How far are we going? Long way. Okay. I didn't have to look at him. Yeah. I'm just following him. So. Are you trying to dump one of them? I was thinking about it. If one of them gave me the chance, I'd probably... I mean, we're close enough to the road. <laughs> it's a pretty easy drag out from there. Well, we're a good 100 yards from it. <laughs> yeah. The hammer was back and had tension on the trigger. <laughs> start time until the start time. And we're going to try to cover this bowl while they kind of converge. And then we'll drop through and be dry. I just moved fast to get over the top that way. People start coming up and we're not up here and they might slip past us. I'm gonna check. You can just use that eyepiece. No, I mean without using an eyepiece. You can just record it though. Not with that, because it's off right now. Just, just in case. Or, or you could open it and flip it open. Keith does that a lot. Because then you can just point and pick your dear 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 buck 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 buck. Nice buck coming right out. I think I got him. You did. You hit him. I gotta reload and make sure we got him here. I had such a tiny little window. I didn't record on this thing. I don't know if I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda, baby! Good job, Mitch. Good job. Hey, that's some tough, that's some seriously tough filming. Zach or Doug? He's right there. Yeah, that's right there. It sounded like one walked by someone. Hopefully the gun went off. It sounded pretty duddish. I don't know. If it's just because of the rain, but it kind of sounds like a boom. But I'm sure part of that's the rain. I don't know if we'll see anybody or not. Give it a couple more minutes. Yeah, that was incredible. I can't even believe it's real. I just looked up and I saw deer flying over that ridge. Holy shoot. Did that turkey call stop? I think the turkey call stopped. <laughs> he was stopped and I just had this little window and he kind of went and it just poof, as soon as he did that. That was sweet, dude. That was freaking My heart sweet. Is just Oh, dude, that's just like nice buck right there. And I think he's like exactly what Brian just got. Yeah. 
close to it. We're gonna make sure he's down. Yeah, yeah. I and then, know. and then just keep being drivers. How many bucks are with him? Just one other buck and a bunch of does. I mean, I had, I had. Hey, dude, food. honestly, you did what you could, and that's all a guy could ask for. All of a sudden, they were on us, dude. I was, kind of, I was in like the perfect spot to stay hidden. I just sat against this tree. I can't reload the dang gun. I'm so shook up. I don't think I need to though. I think he's pretty much toast. Buttered toast. <laughs> Pouring rain, dude. Can you believe that? Last day. I'm still in shock that we found Brian's buck, let alone had this one running right to us. I clutched turkey calling right there, too. He was like, what? You know, I instinctively turkey called like that. I didn't even, I don't even know that I really remembered it until you said something. Yeah, and it worked. They literally, like, turned and looked at us. But I did not think we were going to kill a buck right here. I thought, if anything, we could get lucky, and we just got lucky. Whatever you think's the best spot, it's just... It's usually, yeah. usually not the case. All right, we got everything here. I'm going to pin this. Yeah, let's just go make sure he's dead. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's not moved. Good enough. <laughs> that was so awesome. Good job, dude. Hey, good job to you too. That's a, this is not a one man sport by any means. Hey, let's keep moving and we'll, we'll come back. We gotta keep containment here. See anything? Good shot. Do you have a shot? Yeah, there's a shot. I am trying to figure out. There's a shot? Nobody told us that. I heard. I heard a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Before we, oh, before, oh, yeah. It was probably around like five minutes before. Yeah, ten minutes before. Five or so. You think it's harder than us. You're not even hearing anything farther away than that. It sounded very <laughs> like But it's also pouring. Go off. It sounded <laughs> duddy. Well, <laughs> it's also pouring rain. Yeah. I'd say it probably went to death. I don't know how far you were from me. I heard it on the back. Though. Did you? Okay, yeah. What'd you see? <laughs> Um, the big bed with some pretty big rubs around it. What'd you see? A buck around to like 40 yards and shot him in the chest and watched him go down. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, is there a way to have this so I can be ready to record with the bag still on? And it's like right where you'd expect, right around that knob. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> he was running and it was running fast and it was like a bunch of trees in there and I just was like yo 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 and he just and I could just see his face and his chest and he was kind of doing that thing and he just went and this was like it's like I'm either gonna hit the tree or I'm gonna get him and he, and he just spun out <laughs> 40 yards maybe 30 yards great job everyone and I, thanks you know, I, I said, I'm like, you know, you could you could be watching these videos especially and be like, man, Zach just really puts himself in the right spot. And it's like, I really wanted it to be somebody else, but we'll take it as a group. Did anybody else see deer? Or did nothing? Dang. Nothing came up through? Well, maybe, maybe the deer were just more on top and then they just cut back. But like, again, man, timing is everything in this because we hauled it to get to that point. Had we been two minutes later, we wouldn't have got him. They were acting exactly like Jake Lynch's buck last year. Yeah. What did you say, Jake? It was about where we almost to the spot we wanted to stop almost. 10 minutes before. We were like right on the back side. They, these guys didn't even hear. I think, didn't hear like, I think I heard one, but I thought it was like way away. Yeah. Dude, it sounded like, so from us. I was like, just because of the rain, I was like, because it just sounded like, <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> First off, uh, yelp him right in. Yeah. Oh, look, an eight pointer. There he is, boys. <laughs> <laughs> About exactly like Brian's buck. <laughs> Good job, dudes. Thank you. Appreciate you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It was so fun. If he made it through there, he would have dropped into that bowl more than likely and kept going that way and he would have slipped past you yeah, guys. It was like, us. it's like now or never. Uh, is he 160? He's flirting with it. <laughs> he's flirting with it. Oh, he's all over it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best green score you're going to get right now. <laughs> get him while he's wet. I was like, well, I'm having fun. My heart's pounding like crazy. <laughs> yeah, might as well kill him. Oh, yeah. Last day, rain day, with Mitch, like, how many times, you know, do, do all those things play out? Can't complain about that. You, you did.
didn't shoot that thing and then told us about it, we would have been So you made the right decision. I know. I, th I think that's another big part of it. It's like, well, let him get out of the drive. Or I can maybe make some excuse like Hayden did, like, oh, my safety was on. <laughs> that's cool. I'm really excited about it. I feel so lucky that we got this group. Good to see you. Good time. Yeah, good time, man. Muzzle loader season over. But it'll, I think, continue on for years to come, you know. Can't wait to do it again. I'm really proud of everybody. Everybody played as a team. And that's what makes this fun. It's not about the size of the buck or you know, the amount of deer anybody sees. It's about everybody working together and having fun. And at the end of the day, you know, coming back together and making a plan and readjusting. And I have a hard time believing that there would ever be something that, as far as team hunting goes, that could be ever as cool in my life as this. Create these little traditions because it does help you get through tougher times in life, which happens to all of us at some point or another and you have that in the back of your mind thinking, you know what man it sure is gonna be fun when i get to go muzzle it or hunt with all my buddies like keeps me going yeah. <laughs> yeah. just start thinking about how good it was yeah. and how good it really can be with that <laughs> thanks for watching see you on the next one <laughs>